Leviathan, or the matter, for me and power of a commonwealth, ecclesiastical and civil. Book by Thomas Hobbes. Narrated by Andrew. Originally published in 1651. This is a great audiobook production, created for research, study, and discussion purposes. Chapter 39. Of the Signification in Scripture of the Word Church. Church the Lord's House. The word church, ecclesia, signifieth in the books of Holy Scripture divers things. Sometimes, though not often, it is taken for God's house, that is to say, for a temple, wherein Christians assemble to perform holy duties publicly, as 1 COR. 14. Version 34. Let your women keep silence in the churches, but this is metaphorically put, for the congregation there assembled, and hath been since used for the edifice itself, to distinguish between the temples of Christians and idolaters. The temple of Jerusalem was God's house, and the house of prayer. And so is any edifice dedicated by Christians to the worship of Christ, Christ's house, and therefore the Greek fathers call it Kuriak, the Lord's house. And thence, in our language it came to be called Kirk, and Church. Ecclesia properly what? Church, when not taken for a house, signifieth the same that Ecclesia signified in the Grecian commonwealths. That is to say, a congregation, or an assembly of citizens, called forth, to hear the magistrate speak unto them. And which in the commonwealth of Rome was called Concio, as he that spake was called Ecclesiastes, and Conchinator. And when they were called forth by lawful authority, Acts 19.39, it was Ecclesia Legitima, a lawful church, Enemos Ecclesia. But when they were excited by tumultuous and seditious clamor, then it was a confused church, Ecclesia Subcachumene. It is taken also sometimes for the men that have right to be of the congregation, though not actually assembled. That is to say, for the whole multitude of Christian men, how far soever they be dispersed, as act. 8.3, where it is said, that Saul made havoc of the church, and in this sense is Christ said to be head of the church, and sometimes for a certain part of Christians, as colonel. For point one five, salute the church that is in his house, sometimes also for the elect onely, as F's. 5.27, a glorious church, without spot, or wrinkle, holy, and without blemish, which is men of the church triumphant, or church to come. Sometimes, for a congregation assembled, of professors of Christianity, whether their profession be true or counterfeit, as it is understood, Matt. 18.17, where it is said, Tell it to the church, and if he neglect to hear the church, let him be to thee as a Gentile, or publican. In what sense the church is one person church defined? And in this last sense only it is that the church can be taken for one person. That is to say, that it can be said to have power to will, to pronounce, to command, to be obeyed, to make laws, or to do any other action whatsoever. For without authority from a lawful congregation, whatsoever act be done in a concourse of people, it is the particular act of every one of those that were present, and gave their aid to the performance of it, and not the act of them all in gross, as of one body much less that act of them that were absent, or that being present, were not willing it should be done. According to this sense, I define a church to be a company of men professing Christian religion, united in the person of one sovereign, at whose command they ought to assemble, and without whose authority they ought not to assemble, and because in all commonwealths that assembly, which is without warrant from the civil sovereign, is unlawful, that church also, which is assembled in any commonwealth, that hath forbidden them to assemble, is an unlawful assembly, a Christian commonwealth, and a church all one. It followeth also, that there is on earth, no such universal church as all Christians are bound to obey. Because there is no power on earth, to which all other commonwealths are subject, there are Christians, in the dominions of several princes and states. But every one of them is subject to that commonwealth, whereof he is himself a member, and consequently, cannot be subject to the commands of any other person. And therefore a church, such as one as is capable to command, to judge, absolve, condemn, or do any other act, is the same thing with a civil commonwealth, consisting of Christian men. And is called a civil state, for that the subjects of it are men, and a church, for that the subjects thereof are Christian.